What's up, it's Bioed back with another educational video. Like always, don't forget to chuck us a thumbs up down below, subscribe for more videos and check out our other videos listed in the description below. Today we are going to look at plant and animal cells. More specifically, what are plant and animal cells? What is their structure? And how do we differentiate between plant and animal cells? So let's look at what they are first. All animals and plants are made up of cells and both have similar features that are in common. Both vary in size and shape. However, plant cells have a more rigid structure due to their cell wall, which can limit their shape. The features that are most common are cytoplasm, nucleus, cell membrane, mitochondria, and ribosomes. Next, let's look at their individual structures, starting with the animal cell. We're going to look at what's in an animal cell and their function. First, we've got the cell membrane. It is made up of phospholipid bilayer, which has embedded proteins. Its main function is to control what gets in and out of the cell by receiving signals. Endoplasmic reticulum. There's two types, smooth and rough. Rough is ribosomes that attach to the outside, making it appear rough. The main function is to modify and package vesicles for transport to the Golgi body. I know you're probably asking, what is a vesicle? Well, it is a small membrane-bound sac that allows the cell to transport proteins and lipids around the cell. Next, we've got the Golgi body. This receives transport vesicles from the endoplasmic reticulum, sorts, tags, and packages the proteins and lipids in vesicles. Mitochondria. This is the powerhouse of the cell and is where the synthesis of ATP occurs, also known as energy. We got ribosomes. These assist in the process of protein synthesis. Cytoplasm. This is the space inside the cell, excluding the nucleus and suspends all the contents of the cell. Next, we've got lysosomes. This is an example of what the Golgi apparatus makes. Its main function is to digest unwanted or damaged cell parts. Lastly, in an animal cell, we've got the nucleus. This isolates the cell's genetic material, which is DNA. The DNA within the cell is what directs and controls its activities. So we've looked at the parts of the animal cell. Now let's look at a plant cell. As you can see, it has very similar structure, containing ribosomes, a nucleus, the endoplasmic reticulum. However, it has three different structures. First one, chloroplast. This is the site of photosynthesis. So this is how the plant gains its food. The vacuole. You might have noticed the animal cell has a vacuole. However, the plant cell has a much larger vacuole. As, it, as they require to store more water, sugars, ions, amino acids, and waste. The last one is the cell wall. This provides the plant with further structure and protection surrounding the cell membrane. So how do we tell the two apart? Animal cells have lysosomes, while plant cells have chloroplasts, a large central vacuole, and a cell wall. An overview to see if you've all been listening. What are plant and animal cells? All animal and plants are made up of cells and both have common features. The structure. Animal and plant cells both have a nucleus, which is where the cell's DNA is located. Cytoplasm, the space inside the cell. Golgi bodies, which sorts, tags and packages proteins and lipids. Endoplasmic reticulum can be both smooth or rough and transport vesicles to the Golgi body. Ribosomes, which assist in the process of protein synthesis. Mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of the cell. And lastly, a cell membrane, which controls what comes in and out of the cell. What is the difference between the two? Animal cells have lysosomes, which digest unwanted and damaged cells, while plants have chloroplasts, which is a site for photosynthesis, a large central vacuole that stores water, sugars, ions, and amino acids, 
and a cell wall to provide further structure. So that is all. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos, and I'll see you next time.